and if we take a look inside it should look like a regular banana it shouldn't have gone through the skin there you go so it is actually you know okay inside it's only the skin that was exposed to the UV good morning everyone today we're going to talk about UV lamps and a lot of people are using these right now to disinfect their masks to disinfect their gloves and every other thing they use in their day-to-day -day life now this is a UVC tube you can see it's transparent the reason for that is it uses a special type of glass a quartz glass which allows the UVC to emit through it this one here is a UVA light bulb so this would be used in a bug zapper and it has a phosphor inside which is why you can't see through it and then this one here claims to be a LED UVC bulb uh, which I have my doubts about and that's what this video is really about a lot of people are buying LED based disinfectors germicidal lamps UVC lamps and they're not they're just colored LEDs and people are using these to disinfect their masks they're reusing them and actually they're at a huge risk because most of these LED products being sold right now are fake. So today we're gonna to do some tests. How can you actually tell which one's working? Now, if you can't be bothered to watch the video, I will just tell you right now, stick to the classic type like this. They're genuine, they're cheap, and most of them produce ozone. So when you plug it in, you could smell it immediately. The very, very strong odor. Some people describe it like bleach. So if in doubt, just forget the LED ones because unless you're buying from someone really reputable, chances are it's going to be fake. So let's start our tests. For our first test, we'll expose a green banana to the UVC lamp. If it's really generating UVC, it will turn the skin a kind of brown color where it burns it. This is incredibly dangerous for human skin, for your eyes and things like that. That's why they recommend you put these in a box because you do not want to expose yourself to UVC. The only reason I'm adding the tape is that it will make it easier later to see the difference because those areas under the tape won't be exposed to the UVC. So we'll turn on the lamp, cover it with a lid and come back in a little while. So it's been 30 minutes and if we remove the tape we should notice a big difference and there you can see it's turned the skin, sorry I'm trying to find the tape here, it's turned the skin kind of brown and that's the effect of genuine UVC. Now what you'll notice is that the top side was exposed so we have this change but on the other side we don't see anything but like I mentioned earlier this also produces ozone which can also kill certain bacteria. I don't want to get too technical in this video but it's not just UV it's also ozone. So successful test for this lamp I have another banana, also green, and we'll put the electrical tape on this one, just like before. And this time we'll try the LED bulb that claims to be UVC and also claims to produce ozone. Now it's showing up on camera as purple or pink, but to my human eye it looks blue. So let's cover this up and come back in 30 minutes. So the LED has been operating for over an hour. I gave it extra time while wow, it's really, really hot. And uh, I can tell you there's no smell of ozone in the air. Let's try remove the tape and see if it had any effect. And no, it doesn't look like it's had any effect. And most likely that's because it's not really a UVC bulb. And Here's a quick close up on the banana you can see it had absolutely no effect and in fact there are reviews online about this bulb which tell you that it's fake and in fact it's falling apart right now that's not unscrewing from the right place so not only is it fake UV but uh, potentially quite dangerous because it just comes apart like that after you've been using it and uh, yeah absolute nonsense the thing is if you look at the price of a uvc led just one single piece you're looking at paying 10 to 15 us dollars so obviously they can't fill a bulb with this many uvc leds and then sell it for just you know five dollars or whatever it costs for this bulb 
So yeah, uh, unfortunately, anyone who's using this and similar products, there are so many out there pretending, hey, this is LED UVC, and so many of them are fake, or they produce such little UVC that it just doesn't show any effect. So uh, yeah, let's move on to our next one. For our next test, we're going to use a bug zapper, which has UV tubes inside. Now these are UVA, they're the wrong type of bulb, but some people are selling this style of bulb and saying it's a germicidal UV lamp. So let's go ahead and set this up. Um, fresh banana with tape applied. And what I'll do is lean this over so it gets maximum exposure against the banana and again we'll cover it with the lid so it's been one hour let's try and turn off this and check our banana we're not expecting to see anything because it's UVA versus UVC and uh, I think you can see there's really no difference to the banana so this would not be suitable for disinfection or sanitizing your masks and other items and uh, that's something you really have to watch out for because a lot of people are selling these uv bulbs and saying they can be used as germicidal but actually they're meant for things like bug zappers and they won't help in disinfecting items and this is how the banana looks after 24 hours pretty extreme huh really very vivid markings on that you can see much of the light even managed to bounce underneath and if we take a look inside it should look like a regular banana it shouldn't have gone through the skin there you go so it is actually you know okay inside it's only the skin that was exposed to the uv it didn't manage to penetrate through the skin so uh, yeah that's how it looks after 24 hours if you compare it to those exposed to the led or to the uva you can see they don't really show anything after 24 hours but the one that was exposed to genuine uvc pretty extreme